Green Hill Manor was built in 1954 and was a favorite family theme park until several riders mysteriously disappeared from a ride and were never seen again. Since then, Green Hill Manor has been notorious for its horrifying and mysterious past. Follow in the footsteps of the park's infamous ghosts with a stroll through the beautiful coastal town of Green Hill Point. Experience creepy thrill rides, a spooky boat tour, otherworldly light shows, and atmospheric dining. Welcome to Green Hill Manor, where the spirit of Halloween is always looming around you. Enter if you dare. Did you have any any thoughts about Green Hill Manor? I don't know if anybody caught it earlier, but I just recently went to Orlando. There's a Nemo ride in Epcot, which by and large is, uh, sorry to spoil it for anybody, pretty horrible. Ooh. But there was one part that was really cool in it where there were um, uh, painted puppets with ultraviolet lights, black light. Black light is what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. So that they glowed and you couldn't see the mechanics happening. Cool. But like the puppets moved in this like great way where it was like slightly organic and slightly mechanical at the same time. Wow. And I feel like the Frankenstein ride, like you could have like some fun, you know, almost like marionette style. You could get the like physical comedy of like of a marionette or of like a puppet that's not super perfect. Yeah, that's, that's that's fun. It's almost it's like more cartoony. You know how like cartoon characters like knees move in weird ways and that kind of thing. I, I think that's a good thing for a, a children's ride, which is what this is kind of supposed to be. So so I'm all about that. Yeah, make it a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more floppy, a little more Muppets. I think that sounds great. I had never heard of this before mm-hmm. the episode they were on. And I was kind of immediately taken with it. And like the idea of of making something through music, like conveying that entire emotion just through music brilliant it's like it's like a concept album which i always think is are way more fun than a regular just like musical album it's like there's a purpose for this it's telling a story and in the case of green hill manor it's it's building a park just through the sounds of the park it's really cool that you can use the language of music to tell a story with no words whatsoever like that's some next level art man that was cool was there anything you'd like to to work on i know this one's maybe a little bit more precious and harder to uh to tweak than the others i do like the idea of you know the theme park appearing to go haywire like that's built in yeah there's some like controlled chaos to it which i i have not seen much in, in theme parks they want to stay away from the chaos and i feel like there's like the extra care about this just because if if the conceit is that it's scary, you know, you may have some small children who would be, you know, traumatized or some older people who might have, you know, some heart of chokes, but <laughs> heart of chokes. Is that not what the term is? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good concern. I do appreciate you looking out for the guests. Maybe it'd be good to have on the the sign for each attraction, you know, maybe in small print somewhere or with a an emblem that says Something might go wrong with his attraction, wink, wink. There are some, uh, you know, like haunted houses done at, like, uh, old abandoned penitentiaries, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my co-host and brother, Ben, has gone to a, a couple of them uh, before. And what you do is, if you're okay with getting, like, grabbed out of nowhere and sent down dark alleys, like, on your own spooky adventure, you just, you just like, wear, like, a glow stick, and they know, ah. like, okay there's the meat wow that's a cool idea so you could definitely do that here yeah totally (laughs) like oh you want to go on the uh you know the the ghost train okay you're wearing a glow stick what if you went underneath the ghost train (laughs) that'd be awesome (laughs) yeah that's really cool for something like our carousel which our carousel was like pretty scary for a carousel um and at a certain point one of the horses just kind of breaks loose and just goes flying off the the carousel because it's kind of teetering and rotating quickly it'd be kind of fun if if you know you've got the glow stick on they're like you should sit on this uh you know this really dark scary horse over here if you want to, like a next level ride and <clears throat> a certain point you know there's a part where you know a, a series of pulleys or whatever just kind of yanks that part of the traction off and you get to go on your own little vehicle just riding on so a horse a little sidecar <laughs> be pretty wild it'd be fun to uh to try to design that because that's some some crazy stuff yeah yeah you, you need people who are like engineer artists mm-hmm. like people who are very disciplined and analytical but also just a little unhinged <laughs>
you know, send them through the Yu-Gi-Oh one a couple of times. And then <laughs> they'll be ready. Absolutely. Once you've once you've defeated the Yu-Gi-Oh like tournament, and you've discovered the secrets of the ancient gods. You've been to Atlantis. This is how you get the job. If if you want to work <laughs> at the Green Hill Manor designing park park pieces, you have to be the Yu-Gi-Oh champion of the day first. Yeah. So I saw I saw the application online, but uh, it says I have to become the the. The ultimate dual duelist? <laughs> yeah, the, the dual master, we call them. Uh, how, many, Thank you. how many blue eyes, white dragons do you have? <laughs> Let me look at your references. Oh, Exodia. Oh, wow. Whoa, uh, right, wow. right this way, sir. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anything else for Green Hill Manor? Um, so I understand that there's a park marching band. Mm, indeed, yes. Are these skeletons? Uh, I, we never discussed what they would look like. I'm sure that the, the guys have thought about this, Will and Wendell, but... I imagine them kind of looking like uh, the Black Parade from Mike and Mocha Romance, where it's kind of skeletal marching band kind of motifs. But okay. you never know. It could be like a ragtag crew. There could be some, some trolls and some ghouls and I don't know. Yeah, I pictured I pictured the band from uh, Corpse Bride. Oh, nice. You know, with just sort of that manic energy, skeletons playing on their ribs, you know trombones made out of bones yuck 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 that movie is based on puns <laughs> if you take a band and make them skeletons i can't think of a single instrument that wouldn't look better that way absolutely that's that's what we're all aspiring to i think all, all bands should just be skeletons unleash your inner skeleton yeah did you ever think about we're all just kind of piloting skeletons covered in meat armor no, 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 we are the meat <laughs> that's the new arby's uh, slogan i think <laughs> oh, Arby, <here> we are. <laughs> what, what, what does that mean like we were the best at meat no it you know what it's right as it says on the sign we, we are, are the meat, meat. <laughs> i have a couple things um i would love to explore the idea of the frankendine restaurant one thing that i i think i mentioned this on the episode like i love the idea of having just theming on everything and that includes the restaurants because i feel like even disney sometimes goes a little half-heartedly on this <laughs> right just go all at it you're disney you know just plus everything and i think that's what we would do with anything in the park so at least with frank and dying like i said you know have have beakers have instruments you know have some movies have some screenings you know have like some scary films playing every now and then you could have an alarm go off the ghost train goes past overhead and you know fake dust comes down from the ceiling and the tables rattle they're all kind of mechanically armed and you know just just really really Plus it, no. <laughs> I feel like that is something that isn't maybe done enough in theme parks, you know? I mean, if you've got some theming, like link as much of them as possible together, you know? So, yeah.